four pills, I guess, uh, that I take with me whenever I go to shoot content for a long time. The first is zinc, it just makes you shoot a lot more. So this might sound a bit strange at first, but he's actually right. There was a meta-analysis done back in 2016, which looked at a collection of different studies on zinc supplementation in those suffering from infertility. It found that zinc statistically significantly improved the semen volume over people who were not supplementing with zinc. Now the dosing in these studies was variable, but it seems the most common dosing was 220 milligrams of zinc sulfate. Now, the researchers do note that the mechanism by which zinc increases the semen volume and the sperm quality needs more research. Next is Imodium, because I'm a bottom. So, Imodium works by binding to the opioid receptors in our gut to slow the movement of stool through our gut. It also reduces the volume of your stool and increases the tone of your rectum, which in theory could actually make it more difficult to relax your bottom and, you know. Now, I wouldn't use Imodium for the purposes of bottoming and rather just maintaining a healthy diet and supplementing with fiber to ensure quality bowel movements. It's probably a better option. I won't consider doing anything with anyone unless I'm on prep. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous. Prep is an amazing option for anyone who's looking to reduce their risk of getting HIV. There are three options available to you. Truvada, Discovi, and Apertude. Couple of notes about this is that Discovi is not indicated for anyone with a vagina. Apertude is an injectable option where you don't have to take daily medications and it stays in your system for a full two months. And that all of them require monitoring of kidney function, HIV status, and other STDs. And potassium, just cause salt makes me bloated. So for this, I think he's alluding to the fact that electrolyte abnormalities can be seen in those who frequently use enemas. And this has definitely been documented in the elderly population using sodium phosphate enemas. But I really have a low suspicion that intermittent douching for the purposes of anal sex, particularly if you're only doing the rectum, would lead to any significant electrolyte abnormalities, particularly if you are an otherwise healthy person with no comorbidities and a pretty normal diet. 